Hi, babies. <laughs> Hi. Um, this is a general message, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, use your discernment. Use your intuition. Um, always trust your own knowing. And the message is timeless, so whenever you come across it, it's the right time. <laughs> so this has been... <clears throat> an interesting energy to get into like for one I was having like a I was gonna do a different reading and I was just having a hard time getting into the energy I was like okay so I'm clearly I'm not supposed to like read on something else so I um and like I got like tired and drained so I put some metal on um just to kind of like get in a different energy kind of move stuff around um feel like different <clears throat> and I like was like oh maybe I should talk about something else and um so then I hit uh shuffle and um the song that came on is embedded by job for a cowboy <clears throat> and so I've been into job for a cowboy since I was like in middle school um they came out when I was in middle school I believe um and I've just always liked them. And the song, the album came out in 2007. And I remember buying the album, um, like with my allowance or something at the record store that I liked hanging out at. And um, so I went and bought it. it. It's Genesis, the album is Genesis. And uh, so I went and bought it and, you know, I just liked this song, Embedded, and um, <laughs> I I went to, like, actually read the lyrics because, like, back in the day, like, you know, I'd be reading the, the lyrics that came in, like, the little CD uh, case and, like, and I was just like, fuck yeah, that's metal, like, me, like, little, little middle school Melly, like, fuck yeah, that's fucking metal, <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's fucking metal dude fuck yeah and <laughs> and I'm reading the lyrics and I'm just like oh my fucking god and then <laughs> just the interesting synchronicities so I'm a I'm a job for a cowboy fan girl okay like <laughs> they're my boy band <laughs> And I've always felt that way about them. Um, especially because they have uh, the name Job for a Cowboy. And like, you know, I grew up on a ranch. But I, you know, I like metal and shit like that. So it just like helped me like feel um, like seen, I guess, the best way to describe it. Or like, um, you know, that the dichotomy of who I was was okay. Because I, you know, that part had to be pushed you know, my separate parts of myself had to be pushed away or down to be around certain people because, you know, I was worried about being made fun of for liking country or being made fun of for like being into metal and stuff like that. Um, so I just felt like divided. And so like, you know, I just really like this band and I don't know, I, they've always been one of my favorites and I'm just a fangirl for them. But <laughs> I was interested because I clicked on their um, little, I don't know what the fuck you call it, about the artist on uh, Spotify. And it said 144K likes. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? So I'm like, <laughs> what is happening? This is a message. This is important. Holy fuck. So <laughs> Yes. And then, so, okay. It's, and it's interesting because the lyrics are like spot fucking on. Okay. And it was, it, you know, I don't know when it was written, but the song came out in 2007. So I'll just go ahead and read into the lyrics and then I'll get further into, you know, what we're doing. I am so fucking sweaty from this energy. I had to have a towel to wipe my hands so I don't <laughs> ruin my cards. <laughs> I'm fucking drenched in sweat right now. So this is going to be a good one. Okay. <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Blood incision leads to future of the new world. A mark buried deep under the skin and flesh. Bitch. Will divide and distinguish man. Signatures implanted on the hands and forehead. Reoccurrence of modern times and scriptures. Testament to holy doctrines written in vital blood. In the extent, all will hold something very similarly and accordingly. In the extent, all will hold something very similarly and accordingly. All will bear his name with the distinct and original number of his signature. In a new world with suppressing technology, lacerations lead to codes embedded in bloodstreams beneath the flesh. <laughs> Currencies fuse together to form a solitary and overruling capital. Money evolves into cryptic fucking letters and numbers. It doesn't say fucking, but <laughs> that flow through the net. A configuration set to diminish papered riches, depleting its masterdom, no longer capable of enslaving the likes of humankind from only presenting itself as a form of an object. Reoccurrence of modern times and scriptures, testament to holy doctrines written in vital blood. <clears throat> in the extent, all will hold something. Very similarly and accordingly, all will bear his name with the distinct original number of his signature. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, it's just kind of repeating itself. Currency fumes to form together okay M money evolves into cryptic letters and numbers that flow through the net a conflagration confla i don't know how to fucking properly pronounce this word conflagra conflagration okay <laughs> i just had to read it right that's that's what happened a conflagration set to diminished papered riches depleting its masterdom and i had to look that word up and apparently it means to like um a a all-consuming fire to destroy everything, basically. So that's fucking metal. <laughs> <laughs> no longer... Okay, so papered riches depleting its masterdom. Oh, a conflagration set to um, diminish papered riches depleting its masterdom. No longer capable of enslaving the likes of humankind from only presenting itself as a form of an object. Um, fragments of ash flow through the atmospheric atmosphere's currents. Onlookers breathe and inhale what they once worshipped. The demon's solution. A new world order. Yo, how fucking metal is that? And like how perfect for our, you know, the times that we've been experiencing. Obviously, like other artists and people like the Bible, all that shit. Like there's predictions and stuff like that of this happening, but <clears throat> it's just so interesting because I was just, I'm telling this story because I, I want to empower people to, you know, look into your past and be like, how did these synchronicities line up to where you're coming into your divine purpose? How are you coming in to be this warrior, this, to fight this great battle? between the enemy and the most high. How are you coming into this? Like, these were the little hints to me, <laughs> little middle school Nelly, you know, just like, yeah, that's fucking metal. I'm on my skateboard and shit and just like, fuck yeah. <laughs> you know, all this <clears throat> weird stuff, hanging out with my metalhead friends and we're like, yeah, that's fucking metal, right, dude? Yeah. Like, <laughs> And little did I know, this was like a hint, a guide, a stepping stone to what my purpose was. And um, so I just like want to empower people to like step into what you're meant to do. And we all have our um, powers, you know, like people are really good at researching and finding information. <clears throat> Like, uh, there's the Dharma types. Let me look that up so I'm, I'm properly... I know there's the warrior, the outsider, Dharma types. Um, 
the warrior, the outsider, the educator. Yes. Um, so you can kind of like go off from there. I mean, there's definitely like more people um, that, you know, there, we all have different powers and different um, strengths and we all have this, uh, this ability to, you know, use our powers, harness our strengths um, to fight this great war, this battle, this impending battle. This, this has been coming or happening for fucking ever and it's coming you know it's it's in our 3d world now um but the five dharma types um i found the this is simon chakoisky i don't know how the fuck to pronounce his name it's c-h-o-k-o-i-s-k-y he's got a lot of cool stuff um i think he's a cool dude he um talks about like how to use astrology to like help win in gambling and stuff like that. He's a very interesting uh, person. Um, the five Dharma types. So we have the educator. Educators are the wisdom keepers of the Dharma type family. Um, so like people like that, um, they're good at like harness, like they can teach people, they can seek, um, the fuck am i looking for <clears throat> information you know use that to like seek it out like to help the other dharmas do shit um the laborer laborers are the salt of the earth backbone of society laborers get shit done they keep things going um and so we all have our different parts the merchant so that's like somebody that's like really charismatic fun a partier um Merchants are the most memorable people in popular culture. Um, so we need these charismatic people um, with, because uh, it says with uh, great fame, wealth, and social standing. We need these people to uh, be here to present the information that the educators found and the laborers, you know, built a structure for these merchants to come forward and put themselves out there and express what the educators told them kind of thing. And then there's the warrior. Um, warriors are the superheroes, protectors of the Dharma type family. So <clears throat> the warriors are basically heroes is what it says and need to feel like they are giving their lives to, for a worthy cause. So, you know, we need these educators to and the, oh fuck, what was the other one? Merchants um, and the laborers, you know, the laborers have to build the structure you know, keep the, keep society going, keep things going, um, to have the merchant express what the educator is, you know, sought out and is telling them like, Hey, I found this information. Can you put this out into the world? The warrior then goes out and been like, okay, where, where do I need to fight? Where do I need to go? <clears throat> and then there's the outsider. Outsiders are the rebels and black sheep of the Dharma family. They rock the boat of convention by choice of circumstance and consider themselves reformers, free spirits. Outsider types are unconventional, empathetic, empathic, sorry, and socially conscious. They blend many influences and traditions into their personalities and can see things from different angles. So we need the outsider to shift, you know, the status quo, how we've been living and then, you know, the laborer comes in and is like, okay, so how can we build this new thing? And the educator will have the information like, okay, this is what we need to do. I went and found this information. This is how we can change things. Labor's like, yeah, I'll fucking build that. I'll do this. The merchant puts it out into the world. Hey, I just heard from, you know, an educator or an outsider that, you know, this is how we can change the world. Let me put it out here. Um, and the warrior is like defending you know, this new change, this new cause, physically, spiritually, however. So like all of, you know, everyone has to work together and know their own strengths to um, work together to overcome the enemy. Damn, I didn't think it was going to go down this fucking rabbit hole, but I'm like here for it. I'm fucking vibing. And <clears throat> so we need all of our powers like, so I didn't know, like, I was like a crazy 
fucking child. <laughs> like, uh, like actually to my parents, I was pretty good. Um, I still like didn't fully listen, but you know, in school and stuff like that, I was very aggressive. I was an angry person. Um, you know, so that's why like metal was like really, I was drawn to it because like I felt empowered and I could be in that like pissed off, like angry feeling. And little did I know that, you know, it, it led to this point of understanding about myself that I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior type. I'm meant to, um, like fight and use my intensity and use my fearlessness and that anger to fight the good fight. And so I'm using that shadow, this bad part of myself that, you know, um, cause it's an, I wasn't wanting to talk about this exactly, but I kept getting um, this uh, Queen of Pentacles. So it's the Mother of Pentacles with this card. I'm so shaky from this energy right now. But um, <clears throat> that's like kind of like a shitty mom, <laughs> if we're being honest. Uh, so like I had, you know, family members, parents, like keep me small and tell me that it was bad to be that way. And um, so I, I dampened who I was or, you know, I would try to, I would just think I was just like a bad kid or, you know, like a bad person for like having this intensity about myself and like sticking up. Like, and that doesn't mean that I fucking stopped. <laughs> I was definitely that kid that stood up to my stepdad and like would yell in their face and like fucking, I... I was like, don't fucking tell me shit, motherfucker. I don't like that. Like, don't tell me what to do. You're, you're not my dad. <laughs> you are not my fucking dad. Don't tell me what to do. Blah. And I'm just like going back to like headbanging and like windmilling and shit. <laughs> Skate off on my little skateboard. Um... <laughs> So, like, little did I know that all of these, like, parts of myself that were, you know, deemed bad or whatever was actually my, <clears throat> my power. And we have the Five of Swords in reverse here. Oh, my God. My fucking throat bullshit. <clears throat> Fuck off, demon. Okay. Um, with this Five of Swords in reverse... It's like truth coming to the surface, um, reconciliation, um, like an undoing of like shitty things, uh, maybe manipulation, that type of thing, like undoing that. So like, um, for you, you like looking back into the past and like, kind of like using your intuition, like finding these little synchronicities, like, oh, what music did I like when I was like this age? And, you know, what was I told that was bad about me? Or, you know, what did I get in trouble for the most? You know, cause it was my mouth. <laughs> I'm a very loud person. My voice carries. Um, I've been asked many a times, like just by people that I meet, they're like, man, you must be really fucking scary when you yell. Cause I'm already a loud like, I have a very penetrating voice just by talking. Like, if you want me to fucking whisper, it's not happening. Like, because people will hear, hear my whisper from a mile away. I just, I have a voice that carries. And <clears throat> so that was, like, always a thing that I got in trouble for was being loud or, like, just saying off the wall fucking shit. Like, you know, having a mouth on me. Like, uh, that just always got me in trouble. And, like, um, uh just looking into that like what did you get in trouble for like what were you told was bad about you and how can you alchemize that into fighting this good fight and you know coming together with these you know the 144k to fight this good fight can you know um and if you don't like resonate with that chosen uh one thing like how can you fight this fight against the enemy because really, the only enemy there is, is the devil, you know, the, the the dark side. There's nothing else besides that. It's not each other. It's not us people. It's the enemy. The enemy causes, you know, these, oh, what does it say? 
Okay, bloodline, or sorry, bloodline. Interesting, I said that. Blood incision leads to future of the new world. A marked buried deep under the skin and flesh will divide and distinguish man. So I'm seeing that. <clears throat> Signatures implanted on the hands and forehead. Reoccurrence of modern times and scriptures. Um, <clears throat> so I'm seeing that as like, you know, we're being, the enemy is um, pulling us apart, causing this conflict, the sneakiness, the thinking your fellow man is the enemy, when in fact they are not. It, any conflict against another person is, that's the enemy. There, we are all of God's children. We are all one. We all you know, have the same heartbeat, same breath, whatever, because we are, you know, the most high. We are of the most high. We are God. And when there's this conflict of like wanting to hate or think that someone's the enemy, that is literally the enemy putting shit in your head, in your thoughts to like get, get this conflict, get this divide and distinguish man. <clears throat> And we, when we start working together and, or you start seeing like people with demonic attachments because they'll try to create conflict, like on a smaller scale, let's say like they do the triangulation thing where there's never a conversation between the three people, you know, the three people, oh, it's still a diamond, the three people. <laughs> Take Melanie back to middle school so she can learn her fucking shapes again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway the triangulation thing where there's never people in the same room like let's say uh well you know um sorry the light seemed dim and it was like getting darker for some reason um like oh so and so said this you shouldn't trust them and then they go to the other person. Oh yeah, this person's you know, uh, into like uh, out to get you. They're trying to get you like, um, they're trying to steal money from you or something. Just this like constant like back and forth. But there's never like a um, uh, like a meeting between all of you three. Well, this is a small scale. It could be like a whole ass group of people work family, all that happy shit. It definitely happens in my family like a fuck ton. It is fucking ridiculous. Oh, did you hear what Gramps said about you? Did you <laughs> did you hear what your aunt said about you? All of this like tri triangulation of like, oh, well, trying to pin people up against each other. That's the enemy. That is a person with a demonic attachment. They are working with the enemy because their mind is weak. They have a weak mind, so they let anything in. And, <laughs> and a lot of those people are very devout Christians. Isn't that interesting? So, and then you believe them because you're like, oh, well, this person is like Christian and they go to church and they do this and that and they seem like a nice person, so I should believe them. But there's never this, so you gotta start questioning so using your powers, using your strengths to understand like how the enemy is working with people. And you start noticing like, if this person is trying to create conflict, why isn't this person, or uh, let, me, let me rewind on that. Let's say if this person is trying to give me a heads up on you know what this other person said about me, this is obviously small scale shit. Like it's on a larger scale, but sometimes it's easier to understand on like everyday bullshit. And that's where a lot of shit happens anyway. That's where a lot of big movements can be made is by, you know, one-on-one -on -one interactions. Uh, so we can't forget about that. Um, but anyway, say you're thinking in your head, you're like, okay, this person is looking out for me by telling me that, you know, someone said something about me, whatever. And then you start questioning like, well, why don't we all have this conversation together? And then, you know, that person is like, well, don't tell anyone. Don't like, I'm just looking out for you. Like, it, let's keep this a secret. Well, if we can't expose the truth, then, you know, why, why is that 
you know, just start questioning. Like that doesn't make that make sense. How does that make sense if we can't expose the truth? You're like, okay, so you're telling me the truth that this person is saying stuff about me or trying to steal money from me or whatever the fuck it is, trying to backstab me in some way, but I can't expose the truth. Don't say anything to them though. Bro, your demon attachment is showing. Your demonic attachment is showing. Your, your entity attachment is showing. That is not how God works. God is all about fucking truth, baby. Bring it out. Bring it on. You know, when I get into my warrior mode and I get into my meditations, I ask to uh, for the sword of truth to expose everything, to cut open any bullshit, any demonic attachment, whatever, to expose the fucking truth. So <clears throat> with these people like, that's not working with the most high. That's working with your weak mind, your weak will, and letting demons in and you know get in your head if you're feeling confused about something or you don't have this like uh knowing like yes this is my path you're not listening to your intuition you're not listening to most high you're listening to the devil because there's no there's always going to be confusion fear conflict when the devil has his hands in things when the demons have their hands in things when these people are you know just empty vessels running, you know, being ran by a demon. <laughs> Best way to put it is like, there's going to be this conflict, confusion, secrets, all of this shit. If you can't expose the truth with this person, oh, don't tell them, don't tell them though. I'm, I'm just looking out for you. <laughs> okay, your demon is showing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, using your discernment. I don't know why this went down this rabbit hole, but I'm just here for the ride. I'm just asking Most High to tell me what to say. So <clears throat> going back to like how this song, literally um, the lyrics of it are basically what we are living in now, right? This was all a prediction. And, you know, I, I just speaking from my story is like, I was like really into this song as a kid. <clears throat> and now I'm like, hell yeah like that's fucking me and like i hadn't even like because it's you know it's a heavy song so you can't like fully hear the words because they're like growling and shit but um now thinking back and like actually reading the lyrics i'm like holy fuck this was like most high putting me on this stepping stone of like where i'm supposed to go so when you start like i won't like my homework for you is to look back on like what these little synchronicities were and you know what parts of yourself were um like dampened by people you know these people trying to keep you small any of that um any way to sabotage you because um that's gonna be like a guide to you on what your power is and like how to take action because we have the new moon in Aries, it's time to take action. And I just thought that was so interesting that came out. I was like, fuck yeah, let's fucking metal, bro. <laughs> and underneath that we have, uh, you are very close to achieving your goal. So by looking back on these little synchronicities and reflecting on yourself, like what you get in trouble for, like maybe you're, <laughs> maybe you've been known to be a really fucking nosy person. And, you know, you're smart and uh, you kind of like, um, you like keeping track of like what people say and you have to know everything. You're probably an educator. You're probably in that like, you know, you're a scribe. You're a, you hold the wisdom for people to express it and share it. So embrace that. But also like, you know, look into how you, how it can be used in a shadow side. That would be like um collecting data on people to like use it against them whenever you could actually be like helping people or like you know getting too involved in people's business when it's not necessary um so like using that um the merchant could be like the shadow side would be like you know you kind of have that greasy salesman part about you where yes you're charismatic and you can manipulate people in um 
in a way to get what you want instead of using it for good, being charismatic and putting, putting yourself out there um, and expressing this stuff and using your uh, lyrical, you know, your wordsmith ways to deliver a message to help somebody or to like help someone see something differently. Um, like convince them, and like instead of convincing them to do something for you or like manipulate whatever, the shadow side of it, you can convince them to empower themselves, convince them to see their truth because you can express it in a way that they're like, oh, I am fucking awesome. I am badass. I am powerful. And um, like the laborer, you, you know, like, I'm not quite sure what the shadow side, maybe it'll come to me. Um, oh, There we go. <laughs> Sometimes the narrow focus can cause them to be, become dogmatic, hard-headed, literal-minded, and evangelistic, unable to see things from other points of view. The antidote to this propensity is to surround themselves with merchant types and a constant flow of new energy, ideas, and people. This allows them to refresh their bodies. Yes, yeah, so like this, these charismatic, using your wordsmith ways to change people's um, stuck ways. So that labor is, can be, because they keep things going, they build, they, you know, do the hard work, they do the physical work, um, to keep, um, because it says laborers are also the most caring of the Dharma types. They gravitate towards industries, professions that nourish or otherwise tend to the needy. Um, like you can, you know, you, I don't know where the fuck I was going with that. What, what was I doing? I got all distracted. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this fucking energy, man. Um, so, like, catching your, you know, while using your strengths to keep going, keep going. And then, you know, depending on your fellow people, like I said, use the merchant to shake up the energy. You know, use your wordsmith ways to change somebody's um, hard-headedness, um, stubbornness. Uh, like I said, narrow-minded <clears throat> to help them change and change the status quo and get started in a new direction to keep that going. Um, and the educator, they can definitely be like, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, like where you think you're better than people. Um, man, I cannot think of that damn word. It starts with a P. Pretentious, yes. So very pretentious um, and kind of get caught up in like because they are so intelligent and they have all this information that they can think that they're better than others and come off that way. And um, so like, you know, that would be <laughs> like the warrior would need to be like, no, get sit your fucking ass down. You're being a dick right now. Shut up, let other people talk. <laughs> <laughs> so we all need each other to hold each other accountable and fight this good fight and catch each other, you know, depend on people. And with our everyday interactions, we can tell where we need to grow, what we need to focus on, um, you know, who's got the demonic attachments and how to deal with that. And in my experience, a lot of it is just exposing the truth. Because nothing can harm you once the truth is exposed. Um, so however it needs to happen, like use your, um, your data seeking ways. Use your warrior strength and power to express it. Or use your merchant ways to manipulate the words to get someone to accidentally tattle on themselves. Um laborer, you know, setting the perfect, um, environment. It's almost like I see a laborer setting up like a, an intervention of like, Hey, come over. I'm, I'll kick, cook you dinner. And here's the warrior and the merchant, like the warrior's waiting, uh, you know, to call this motherfucker out. And the merchant is just like, yeah. So like, what did you, what did you mean when you said that? And then the person, you know, accidentally tells on themselves and the warrior's like, <laughs> 
So we all have our place. And it starts with understanding yourself and looking back on, um, going back to the story of like, you know, I was um, lied to with the seven of swords. I was lied to, manipulated that my parts of myself were bad or that I didn't know things. Um, Cause I've always had this innate ability to know who the fuck people are just immediately. I've always had that sense, <clears throat> but I was gaslit by my parents, by my family, by people growing up or just like jealous, insecure, greedy people that didn't like that I could peer through them and see their truth with this uh, five of swords. Um, so they would gaslight me, tell me I'm wrong, or like, uh, I'd get my ass beat if I like said something like fucked up. <laughs> or like, it, I would just get in trouble if I said something that offended. Um, like, especially, you know, the emotionally mature people in my family or just growing up, friends, all of that stuff, teachers. I would always get in trouble for like accidentally exposing the truth. <clears throat> so I was like beat down. Um lie to gaslit like you're wrong you're just you don't know anything like and this was just and this happens to me daily as well like people try to gaslight me because i can like peer right through their fucking souls <laughs> or i scare the fuck out of them <laughs> so i was on a, a charity ride yesterday um this is just an interesting story to explain things but um i uh met up with this lady she kept she owned a leather shop and uh so I was like looking at vests and just ran like it just smelled good in there I like the smell of leather and she's like oh look at this look at this and so she was just like chatting me up and she's like do I know you you just look so familiar I'm like no we've never met like I've tried to come into this store but it's always closed when I come by and so she like started telling me her story and like I just like felt the urge so I grabbed her hand I was like you are an amazing person like I just was like, just because I felt the urge to give her compliments because she just looked frazzled and she was just trying to talk and she just seemed like she was just going through a lot. So like, I was like, I'll pray for you. Like, don't forget to like pray to Archangel Michael, like for protection. And she just started bawling. And she's like, people are trying to steal stuff from my store. Like I'm getting attacked every night. Like the store is and you know, all this stuff. And she like, you know, so I, you know, went deeper into it and I'm like, I apparently <laughs> said something extremely triggering to her because she just was like, and like walked away. And I was like, oh shit, <laughs> whoopsie, <laughs> whoopsie. I peered a little too far in, like, I, and it wasn't purposeful. I, I was just like asking God to like speak through me so I could help her. <clears throat> and she just like went to go help a, another customer. And I was just like, damn, I, I said something. <laughs> But going back to that, like, I've always been, like, you know, gaslit, um, that I don't know people, I'm wrong, or, you know, I, I call somebody out and they're like, false, you're not right, you're, I don't know where you got that information, blah, 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 whatever. And, but I've always known this, and because I have the hair found after that, that's like this knowing, this, um, I'm seeing the lightning bolt is like, just the intuition. So look back and kind of just reflect on like what when have you been um shot down told that you were wrong and you were like man and it's just so perplexing and confusing to you because you're like i swear that i knew this or you know however or i swear i did the right thing in that moment i just don't understand like there's that confusion and that's the enemy so reflect on that and then you can start empowering yourself or just reminding yourself that no weapons formed against you shall prosper and to trust yourself there is no confusion there is no fear when you're working with the most high when you are only allowing the most high into your body so i always say only high vibrating energies aligned with only pure source are allowed through me near me and around me um and I, you know, pray that constantly, especially when I'm feeling like there's just like this weird, like anxious feeling or um, like just when I don't feel right, like I don't feel good because you are meant to feel good. You are meant to feel sure. Um, yes, it's going to be scary when you take leaps of faith, but you still have to do it. You still have to get into your um, the strength 
of trusting the most high has your back and still doing the leap of faith and trusting yourself. <clears throat> um, yeah, so no, trusting your inner knowing this Hierophant, because he's he's an educator. That is what the Hierophant is. He's an he's a spiritual leader. Um, it, it's a, depicted often as a like priest type, and there's like people under him like learning. He's a teacher. He's an educator. Um, he's tapped into the divine, and um, that will bring you your wish fulfillment, your blessings uh, with this uh, Nine of Cups here. So trusting that, getting, taking action in your power to fight this good fight. And as you're fighting the good fight, so it, it was interesting because um, after that interaction, or I guess, I yeah, yeah. Um, like I got free coffee from a random person. Like, <laughs> so I was like, fuck yeah, I was doing the right thing. And I was just getting these little like synchronicities that I was on the right path. And I was like uh, rewarded for it. So look at, look into that. When are you working with how you were, with your powers? So if you're like a laborer or something, it's actions for them. Maybe like doing physical work or um, like for a charity or something. <clears throat> um just you know, start looking into how how can you use your shadow side of like oh you're bad you have a you have a <laughs> loud mouth or you you just say whatever you think you got you're a hothead how can you turn that transmute it into something good to fight this good fight to be a protector to be a um to serve to come out and express what you need to express to these people. How what, back to that outsider? I didn't really fully. What do we got here? Outsiders are also the masters of deception. When properly channeled, this can make them great actors, magicians, or musicians. When poorly channeled, it makes them prone to self deception, delusion, and lies. So, how can you transmute this? Like, I'm seeing the outsider because it's interesting. I'm a warrior and outsider. Uh, you can take that Dharma type test. It's uh, spirittype.com. Um, and you can just search uh, the five Dharma types. That's what I did. Um, and you can take that test and kind of learn about yourself because I'm, I'm a warrior and <laughs> the outsider. So I I do have the ability and I've definitely been in this like, um, way of like manipulating energy to like come off a certain way and I can I use it for good now because now I let people think that I'm like stupid and I don't know stuff or, or like I'll hide the fact that I have this like deep inner knowing and I just let them like go on and I'm also patient because <laughs> I, I I've learned that with my warrior tendencies, I can be a hothead and pop off at the wrong fucking time. Yes, it takes a lot of fucking energy to hold off because I like, I wanna, ooh, I wanna call people out so bad. Like, that's my thing. That's my fucking jam. I just like, I'm hard for that. <laughs> I love calling motherfuckers out. But I've learned the patience. Cause you know, a good warrior is someone who's patient, who knows when to strike. And so I've used this like trickery magician energy to let them think, oh, you got me. Oh, you got me. <laughs> While the warrior in me is like wanting to come out and be like, all right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And so, but I've learned to temper that. Yeah. And I am not saying I am fucking perfect with it. I pop off when I shouldn't pop off. And there have been times I've had to... I've had to, you know, just eat my words because it was the wrong timing. But I'm I'm learning and I'm catching myself in that. So, and I'm not trying to like just talk about myself here, but I know that my story can hopefully help you and, you know, give you some pearls of wisdom on like how you can, maybe you can see yourself in this situation on how you can manipulate and change the energy of 
your shadow, your dark side, and use it for good. Um, the key to outsiders' liberation is telling the truth to themselves about themselves. And that's what I love. I love to express the truth and use my warrior mouth to, <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Responsibility and self-respect go a long way to keep outsiders healthy and free so that they can free the world in turn. And I love that because like, <laughs> um, you know, people will try to hold like a secret or something over my head and I'm just like, yeah, I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Express it. I don't care. But when I have to wait, that I do, I do experience that like tension of like, God, I, I just want to, it, it's like a, a water balloon that's like getting too full. And I'm just, it, you see it sagging and sagging and sagging over full with water. And you're just, I'm just like, I need to blow. I need to go. <laughs> so, but I'm learning to temper myself. I'm learning that. Um, With We have the lady and that says, um, enjoy growth and reap rewards. So <clears throat> reflecting, so you've planted the seeds. The seeds were planted so long ago. Looking back into the past of like, you know, I, this is a bad part of me. I've been told it's bad. I've gone in trouble for it. These are my strengths. These are my weaknesses, blah, 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 whatever. Um, the seed was planted. So now it's time to start growing in this and focusing your energy um, to reap the rewards, that fruit. Um, and there's five seeds in there. And I'm seeing that as like change. Um, shaking up the status quo. Shaking things up. Because <clears throat> you may have been living in the shadow part of your strengths. And um, the seed was planted. So look back in. Uh, focus on that like okay so I was angry but this is where I felt the most powerful how can I transmute that alchemize that into my strengths and reap the rewards of that by fighting the good fight release the old and rest so that's telling me um and I'm seeing the crow is like magic so I'm seeing that as word magic people told you like oh you're stupid or you're you don't have any self-control, you know, all this stuff, all this things that people told you to like put you down or like you don't learn things quickly, you're not smart enough, whatever. <clears throat> you're not good at sports, what, however it was. Um, release that and trust yourself. Uh, change the narrative of in your mind because if that stuff is told to you by your parents, family, people that are older than you that you trusted as a kid, you're going to believe that because, you know, we're dependent on people as children. We're taught we have to depend on them to survive. So you trust these older people um, that, you know, it's the truth. You're like, well, shit, maybe I shouldn't talk. Maybe I, I shouldn't open my mouth because they told me that I sound stupid when I talk or that I shouldn't say things. Or, you know, that you were put down for, you know, expressing your needs um releasing that looking back onto that and changing the narrative in your head like that was just the enemy working against me and um forgiving as well because like as like we're growing in vibration just as a society um we are exposing more and more like there's more people changing and shifting and coming out of this like uh darkness this the hold that, um, you know, demons had on us. Because what does it say? Um, onlookers breathe and inhale once what they once worshipped. All right, let me, let me read that. No longer incapable of enslaving the likes of humankind. From only presenting itself as a form of an object, fragments of ash flow through the atmosphere's currents. Onlookers breathe and inhale what they once worshipped the demon solution, a new world order. And that's telling me like, we trusted the government. We trusted our parents. We trusted um, these people with entity attachments. Um, so in turn, we got that attachment as well because we believed it. We let them whisper in our ear 
um, we listen instead of listening to our intuition, our heart, and praying on it to Most High. Um, we were under the de the demon solution, and now there's a shift coming because we've come out of this. Things were expressed. We had this like upheaval. This, but and that's what's necessary. All this conflict and contrast, this division, um, that exposes what the enemy is doing against us, right? <clears throat> And we have Father Sky, trust in the unknown. And this is, you know, trusting in most high. And, you know, shifting, letting go of the old, of these, you know, if you don't allow this, the devil to talk and whisper in your ear, nothing can fuck with you. You just have to say no. That's really all you have to do. And ask most high to take care of you and protect you. And pray to whoever you, you know, I pray to fucking everybody. <laughs> I want all the coverage, baby. Um, yeah, so I, you know, I pray to Most High Mother and Father, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, uh, my ancestors with my highest intentions, Ascended Masters, <clears throat> you know, just all helpful beings aligned with only pure source, angels, and guides. I pray to them. I ask for their help. Um, I ask them to, you know, lift any sort of entity attachment, to, um, spell work, ill intent that people are sending me. I ask them to lift that off of me. And I say, hey, I give this to you. And, you know, I, I hand it over because you are meant to take care of this. And so trusting in that, that, you know, this is the new world order. We're moving into this. Um, we're shifting the dynamic. This dark... Um, masterdom i guess <laughs> this dark um control is no longer we're not letting the enemy control us anymore because we're awakening we're raising in vibration and we're seeing the truth like that lightning and the eagle that's seeing something from a higher perspective because eagles can fly really fucking high way up there and they have the eagle eye they can fucking see like you know a fucking baby ass fish you know down in this river with rapids you know white <laughs> you know the crashing water they can see like a fish through there like way the fuck up there so using that looking at things from a higher perspective working with most high asking most high to expose the truth asking most high to guide your eyes to what you need to see and we have the high priestess here <clears throat> harness mystic power and being okay with using your intuition and your inner power and asking um like not harnessing it, hiding it. Um, and we have broken arrow after that. I'm seeing it as like breaking the pattern of like being told like, oh, this is, you're bad when you assume this. Like you've been gaslit for like use, listening to your intuition and following that because someone was jealous or they were caught. So they wanted to like break you down and stay in that fly basically. Um, <clears throat> and the broken arrow is embrace the energy of peace. So you're breaking the pattern. You're stopping it right here, uh, using your shadow side to break this um, and, and alchemize it into fighting the good fight. And we have Spirit Fox. Trust your uh, talents in changing times. And that's trusting yourself. Being here for yourself, your confidence. You, um, you know, breaking past all of these things, these awful lies that people told you about yourself. Like, no one can fucking tell you shit about yourself. The only person that truly knows you is you. And most high, obviously. But that's the only fucking person is you. You know yourself. No one else knows you like you. So getting more in tune with who you are, what your strengths are. Maybe that um, the five Dharma types will help you understand that. Uh, for some reason, I was drawn to talk about it. So there was definitely something there. <clears throat> and um, with that fox, you know, you you can see foxes anywhere. Like in town, you know, out in the wilderness. Um, they can survive in different environments. And in changing times, um, that's you with that song of like the new world order the you know burning down our old structures our old um 
ways of existing, being under the power, the control, you know, having the, letting the enemy have their foot on our necks and shifting that, burning that, um, coming together to fight this good fight. Mm. And we have arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. And that is just praying to most high. Trusting in yourself, protecting yourself, protect, ask most high to protect your intuition, protect your thoughts, protect your ears. Um, one prayer I really do uh, before I go ride is um, I'll say, you know, most high, like, please guide my eyes, my ears, uh, my mind, my mouth, you know, my whole body, please guide me um, what I need to do on this ride to protect me and be the best rider on the road. And I kind of use that as like, a, you know, I go into work and I pray that. I go into wherever I go, I ask most high to guide every single part of me to where I need to go and live in my divine path, follow my divine path, live in my divine purpose. Um, so definitely like praying and using that protection um, that anointment that most high has on you, um, staying in that and asking like, please protect me from the enemy. And then being aware of like your thoughts, your feelings, your body, you know, if you get these weird body aches and you just suddenly feel drained and tired, that's an attack. That's the enemy working against you. And, you know, it could be somebody sending you that or just, you know, some, it's usually a person, like it's usually a person with an entity attachment, <laughs> but it could be however you want, you want it to be. But if you have this confusion in your mind or you're just like spinning back and forth, like, oh, I don't know what to make this decision, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Settle back in and catch yourself. Be like, wait, why am I worrying about this? What, am, why am I getting caught up in this? Or why is this person telling me I have to keep this a secret? You know, if it's like, you know, them start doing the triangulation thing, like obviously if someone comes to you and like, hey, you know, like, I just need to vent to you. My wife cheated on me or something like that. Like, obviously respect that. Don't be a gossiping asshole. But like if someone comes to you like, oh, yeah, someone said this about you. But keep it a secret, though, because I'm just looking out for you. But your entity attachment is showing like stop. <laughs> your demon attachment is showing. Sorry. Your your possession is is very exposed. You might want to zip that up real quick. Um <clears throat> so there's never going to be this confusion, like secrecy, like gossip. You know, you are meant to feel good. And that's what your your ex your whole like point of being in this physical body is to feel good and feel love, feel abundance, feel wonderful. Yes, you're going to have to experience these contrasts because you can't have love without pain, light without dark, all of these things. But if you move through it with your strengths and trusting in your faith and in the most high, always having your back and that there's a reason for it, you can relax into it. And that's a muscle you're just going to have to exercise and you know keep uh, practicing. Like I'm still doing it. I still get caught up in the stress sometimes. I'll let it, I'm like, but then I catch myself cause I'm like feeling unwell from it. I'm like, whoa, all right, demon. That was a good one. <laughs> but um, we do have the lovers here. And I'm seeing that as like reminding yourself that we're all in this together. Um, the lover's card is also a choice. So, you know, that's you making the choice to shift your sat your shadow attributes, the things you were told, lied to about that were bad about you, alchemizing it, shifting it into how you can use it for good to fight this good fight against the enemy. How can we come together in union, in unison, to fight against the enemy? That's all, that's the only thing that we have against us is the devil, you know, the dark side. <clears throat> Stay strong, babies. I love you so much. I am so proud of you. And, you know, keep learning about yourself. I, I really am curious. I'd like to hear in the comments if you can share, 
you know, what you found out about yourself by like reflecting and like being like, whoa, damn, that was the stepping stone into my purpose. And, you know, really question like and look into yourself and learn about yourself on what your purpose is and how you can step into that and trust your intuition. Um, I'm so proud of you. Keep fighting the good fight. You're all just strong, hot, funny, cute, smart, amazing people. And I'm so glad you're here with me. I love you. Have a good day.